The end of the world is no longer just some far off notion. The event now has a date. New research shows how much time it will take for the earth to basically dry up and no longer be able to support human life. As long as whatever is on your bucket list won't take longer than 1.75 billion years, there's not really anything for this generation or the next couple million generations to worry about. That's about how long researchers at the University of East Anglia predict will take the Earth to end up outside of the habitable zone. These zones are defined by water. In the habitable zone, the planet is just the right distance from its star to have liquid water. Closer to the sun, in the hot zone, the Earth's oceans would evaporate. The Earth won't move, but it's actually the Sun we have to keep an eye on, not literally. As it gets older, the star is continuously growing hotter, brighter, and bigger at about a tenth of an astronomical unit every billion years. Now, 1.75 billion years might seem like a long time away, but in relative terms, it's really not too far off. It took about 4.5 billion years just for the evolution of an intelligent species on Earth, and according to one of the lead researchers, modern humans have only been around for the last 200,000 years. So you can see it takes a really long time for intelligent life to develop. But if it helps you feel any better, all won't be lost just like that. It will actually be a very slow process as Earth dries up and completely runs out of water reserves. But according to the researchers, there's still the chance our planet won't even make it that far. You know, with all the other likely doomsday scenarios like a meteor strike, nuclear war, crazed robots, super infections, aliens, black holes, and of course, zombies. The study did note there is a solution or sort of a safe haven, Mars. Although it's fairly close to Earth, scientists estimate it will remain in the habitable zone until the sun dies in about 6 billion years. So mark your calendars. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.